All right, so we all know about pennies. Pennies, over time, they get just dirty and nasty and corroded. I don't know about you, but me and my really strange brain, I've always wondered what liquid would shine a penny the best? Which one is gonna take all that grime and dirt off and just bring it back to life to its normal shiny self the best? I have eight different jars with pennies. I have eight different liquids. And we're gonna see which one revives the pennies the best. First one, first liquid is gonna be something that we usually don't do on this channel. We're gonna have a control and we're just gonna fill that full of water. So you people that have been begging for controls, you will enjoy that. Second liquid, gonna be a can of Monster. Ugh, this stuff smells so bad. I don't know how you guys drink this stuff. Those pennies are probably gonna like disintegrate in there. Third, we're gonna give, we're gonna try some vinegar. I feel like vinegar is probably where it's pretty acidic. I feel like it'll probably do a pretty good job. Get some of that in there. Speaking of things that are acidic, our next liquid is gonna be sulfuric acid. And for those that are curious, it is a one molar solution. I don't know what that means, but people asked what it was last time, and that's what it is. Next up, it's gonna be ketchup. Now this isn't, obviously this isn't really a liquid, but I feel like this could work pretty good just because it's so acidic. So we're gonna take the pennies out and fill this thing up. I took the pennies out because I want them to be completely submerged. Come on, there we go. I'm sure that's gonna be fun to dig out of there. And since you can't really have ketchup without mustard, we'll do mustard as well. Next liquid is gonna be Coke. Who knows what this is gonna do? This might, this might disintegrate the pennies too. Who knows? And last but not least, we have Drano Max Gel. I have a sneaking suspicion this is probably gonna do a lot more than what I suspect it's gonna do, or it could do nothing. So now that all of our jars are full with all of our various liquids, I'm gonna let them sit for, I'm gonna aim for about a week, but everybody that watches, every, all you people that watch this channel, you know that I usually forget about things. So it might be a month, it might be two months, but I'm gonna aim for about a week, maybe 10 days, something like that. We'll come back, open them up, and we'll see what happens. All right guys, it's been roughly about eight days since we left the pennies in the jars with all the different liquids. So before we open them up and see what's going on inside, the last time that in one of my older videos, I had you guys, if you ordered merch within the first 24 hours, you got your name up here on this wall. So we're gonna do something kind of like that again, but a little bit different. Today is Saturday the 30th. So, and then next Saturday is the 6th. So if you order merch anywhere in this time frame, I'm gonna be giving away five $50 Amazon gift cards. So if you order merch between this Saturday and next Saturday, you will automatically be entered to win one of five $50 Amazon gift cards. But also, if you, all five winners will get their names added to the wall. So the merch link is in the description. Go get yourself a hoodie, a t-shirt, a hat, whatever, and you'll be entered. So let's start opening these jars. See what's going on. So the first jar we should open should be our control, which is obviously our water. Oh, that water is really, really cloudy. And these pennies, <laughs> like they literally don't look any different, hardly at all. I mean, I guess that's a good control. Now we know what to compare everything else to. Basically nothing happened. They're just, they might be a tiny bit cleaner. From what I see, they, they look like 95% of the way they were. So not much, which you wouldn't really expect with water. Let's take a look at the vinegar. Not cloudy. Smell worse. I don't think. Mm. 
They're a little bit cleaner, not all of them. Like this one's still very dirty, obviously. Some of these are definitely cleaner than they were. I don't know what happened to this one. I don't know if this one's like just stained so bad that it... I feel like these are overall a little bit shinier than they were to begin with, but nothing crazy. And I honestly kind of expected more. This dirty, this really dirty penny, I just realized, is a, night, is a penny from 1981, which I believe all pennies before 1984, I believe, are all copper, or all, uh, are all pure copper. And these newer ones are just copper plated. So maybe that's a difference? The rest of these seem to be from like, like the mid 2000s. Here's another, this one is from 1976, and it also is kind of dirty like this. This one is, this one's from 1982, and it's a little bit dirtier than the other ones. So that maybe that could be a trend. Maybe the really dirty ones are the older ones that have more copper, and the newer ones that get real shiny are newer pennies. Let's set, let's set these aside and see, see if that trend continues. But the rest of these pretty much, pretty much look the same. Let's check out these ones that have been left in Coke. Ugh. Let's see if they're clean. Oh wow. There's a really dirty one. The really dirty one's 1968. Let's get a real shiny one. This shiny one is from 2017. This is another really dirty one. This is 1972. I think that's gonna be a continuing trend. I think the older pennies are gonna stay dirtier. That one's from 1998. I don't know what its excuse is. Overall, these, these ones that were left in Coke actually don't look a whole lot different. I really, I really thought the Coke would would have done more just because it's more, because uh, it's very acidic. Since we did the Coke, let's check out the Monster. See if the Monster has any different result. <laughs> Just from looking in here. Doesn't look like it does. If anything, the, the Monster almost looks dirtier. I think that's 1991, so that's doesn't really have an excuse to be dirty. That's a 1975. That's a little dirtier than normal. 1973, also dirtier than normal. And the shiny, the shiniest pennies from 2013. I don't think these got any cleaner. I don't really think anything happened. Kind of disappointing considering that the monster, if you remember back, I left, whenever I left five things in monster for 30 days, in one of those jars, I left a pair of pliers that had some rust on them. And also in the video where I left those metal bars in monster. The monster ate off a lot of rust and stuff, so I figured that it would do the same thing to these pennies. It would eat some of them away, but not really a whole lot. Now, I'm really, I'm really excited for this one. This is the ketchup. I'm really curious to see what the ketchup has done. <laughs> this feels so weird. <laughs> oh. These pennies, they're actually pretty shiny. All the ones that are coming out of this ketchup, oh, let me, I'm gonna wash some of these up. Cause these are, these are kind of interesting. So the ketchup seems to be pretty good at shining up pennies because, let me see where it was. This one right here, okay, you can see these are all pretty shiny. But you can see this one right here, you can see where the ketchup was and where the ketchup wasn't, where maybe there was like a penny laying over top of this one, so it couldn't get to here, but you could see here where it shined it up pretty good. And you can also see the same thing here. I don't know what angle you can see it best at. There's a little like dirty spot here and a little dirty spot here where maybe other pennies were kind of like laying on it at a different angle or whatever, and the ketchup couldn't get in there. So you can see a definitive line where it cleaned and where it didn't clean. So it does clean them. It does make them a little bit shinier. Some of them a little bit more than others. These four, pretty decent. This one shined up pretty good. This one is even a 1980. So that one's an older one and it cleaned up pretty good. I'm sure it was pretty, pretty dirty. You can see 
Also see the same thing on the back. There's a little bit dirty spot here and a little dirty spot here, but the rest of this is clean. The ketchup is surprisingly very effective at cleaning up pennies. I would assume it's because it's pretty acidic. Pretty good, probably one of the best results yet. Well, can't have ketchup without mustard, so sit with the mustard. That had, did you hear that? That had a lot of uh, pressure behind it. So there's gotta be something going on in here. Mustard is so disgusting. I don't know how anybody likes some mustard. Let's see what it did. Oh, wow. <laughs> Nothing. This thing is not clean at all. If anything, it's dirtier than it was to begin with. Mustard might be horrible at cleaning pennies. Well, this one's shiny, but it's also a 2017, so it quite wasn't that dirty to begin with. Here's another one. This one is, what is this one? This one's a 1976, and it seems to be, I mean, maybe just a tiny bit cleaner than before, but not really. Let's see what we got. This one's just as dirty as it was when it went in. Although this one looks really old though. Hold on, I gotta wash this one off. This one is extremely old though. This one is a, this one is a 1936. So this one has been around for a long, long time. At least I think that's a 36. Some of you coin experts would know. The back of it says one cent. It doesn't have the, uh, the building on the back or the other thing or the other variation. It doesn't look like that. Not any cleaner than it was when it went in. So. Mustard's obviously not a very effective penny cleaner. Next, let's go with the sulfuric acid. Get that out of the way. This one, let's see what these guys look like. It's hot in there. These honestly don't look any different, to be fair. Yeah, that one's still really dirty, and that's a, well, that's a 97. That one you can kind of see maybe a little bit cleaner around here. Still dirty, a little dirty there. Overall, not, not much different. Kind of just like everything else. Just little tiny itty bitty differences. Oh, oh, look at that. This one, that's completely dissolved. Are all of these like this? Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. You can break apart almost all of them. That's crazy. Except for this one, which is in 1976. So this one would be, I think 100% copper or mostly copper, whatever, whatever it is. That one's nice and strong. Can't break that one. There's gotta be one in here from like the early 2000s. I wanna see how weak that is. This one's a 2001. Nah. What year was this one that I broke? This one was a 1993. And this one just completely, I mean, it just ate through the entire center of it. That is crazy. I, w I wonder if this one that I was able to just like tear right through, I wonder if it had like a little bit of a nick or something in the coating and then the sulfuric acid was able to just get inside and just eat it all out or something. But the rest of these seem to be all right. It's a couple weak ones. So it doesn't clean them, but it does eat them and make them like super brittle. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool. If you wanted to dissolve your pennies for whatever reason. And last but not least, we have Drano. From what I can see, it don't look like there's gonna be much going on in there. Kind of disappointing. Jeez, are these things, they're like, ooh, that's interesting. So they were kind of like stuck together and they have like some type of corrosion or something going on in between them. I don't know, I wouldn't think that, I wouldn't think that Drano would cause corrosion or maybe I'm just stupid, but they're definitely not cleaner and that, that's for sure. That looks the same. Let's see if these two got corrosion between them. No, those two look fine. 
I wonder if those two were just like, like an anomaly or something. So, I don't think Drano is a very effective coin cleaner. Let me just pull a couple more out of here just for purposes of the test. That's from 2011. Uh, that's shiny. Shiny, but that's from 2011. So that one was probably shiny to begin with. Yeah, that one. Just as dirty as before. So, Drano is not an effective coin cleaner. I thought we probably would have learned a lot more from this than what we did. Almost everything didn't really clean the, the pennies, which kind of makes me wonder, like, what would you put pennies inside of to make them shiny again? I felt like one of these would have at least produced, like, a like a really amazing result. Like, you put all the dirty pennies in, and then whenever we pulled them out, they would be, like, completely shiny and all look brand new. But that wasn't what we found, and there wasn't any liquids that did that. I guess now I'm going to kind of be on the hunt for... I'm going to be looking through the comments for whatever liquids you guys suggest to see what we can put pennies in and bring them back to their natural shininess. But whatever that liquid is, it certainly isn't any of these liquids. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go to the link in the description, get some merch, get entered for the Amazon gift cards. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.